Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at navigating the F-104, which is the TF-104G Starfighter that is produced by Sim Skunk Works over here in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now the good news is uh, the Flight Simulator, as far as complexity goes with navigation, not too bad. I don't think you'll find too many surprises in it. There is a little bit of homework involved depending on what type of navigation you're doing, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, uh, navigating this aircraft. Uh, one thing that you want to remember, like we saw in the last video, is to make sure your magnetic variation has been set correctly prior to doing anything crazy with your flight here. Uh, next thing you want to do is you want to decide what type of navigation you're actually going to be operating with. Uh, we have two basic versions, other than doing any sort of visual slash dead reckoning navigation. The first method we have is with tactical air navigation. That's a TACAN. Uh, TACAN is actually really, really easy to use. Uh, basically, you dial it in, it points where you need to go, and that's it. The second method is with a little more complicated thing. You know, we have an inertial navigation system built into this aircraft, which is actually parked over here on the right. Now, the way this one works is a little more involved, and we'll actually show you exactly how to do that. But let's go ahead and take a look at the TACAN navigation first. So how do we do TACAN? Well, it's the same thing as VOR, just uses a different way to describe the individual frequencies. So what I'm going to do real quickly is we'll go ahead and call ourselves up a nice little map of the region that we're currently flying over, so that you can go ahead and see exactly what it's going to be like. So I'll go ahead and pop on my desktop view again real quick, so you can see this. Uh, we are very, very close to Nullis Air Force Base. So let's go ahead and cruise over there real quickly. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Las Vegas. What do we got for TACAN navigation here? Let's see here. We have a VOR frequency. What's the VOR frequency? Let's take a look. Take a look. It's going to be right here. Good Springs is channel 57. That doesn't do us any good at all. Here we are. 116.7. So that tells us what our frequency is going to be. So once we know the VOR frequency, what we can do is we can actually grab this little application here and we can see exactly what it is. So in this case, we're looking for, like I said, 116.7, 116.1, 116.7, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 116.1, 
And that's how you do the tactical air navigation. There's really not a lot to it. All you do is get the correct frequency, dial it in, uh, double check to make sure it's set correctly, make sure it's turned on, and the aircraft should get you going around real nice. So now where it gets a little more complicated is when you're going to do what they call the phi navigation or the inertial navigation. Now the way you have to do this is actually two parts. You have to first identify where you're going, and then second of all, you have to dial it in. So that requires a lot of kind of fancy math for us. So we're gonna have to get a couple different tools available to us to be able to pull this one off. I'm gonna go ahead and knock a little bit of the bank out of this thing. By the time I finish this banking turn, I'm gonna be in the next state. <laughs> it's something I would do. All right, let's go ahead and pop this sucker open and I'll kind of do it to it. We'll flip over to desktop mode so you folks can see. All right, let's go. So here's what we're gonna to need to know. We need to know what the waypoints are. And the other thing we're gonna to need to know is we're gonna to have to dial those into a special file called a FI file. So if I actually open up my this PC real quick, cruise over to my uh, personal drives here, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Packages, Community. Of course, you notice the airplane is just going in a giant circle there. I'll give it a little gentle touch. SimSkunk works. We're gonna go into the data folder and you can see that there's these things called FI files. There's just one called default. I'm just gonna go ahead and type in notepad. I'm gonna drag it into the notepad, and this is what the file itself looks like. So how does this work? Well, it's pretty easy. You simply go ahead and dial in what it's called, and then you're gonna do it in its latitude and longitude in decimal formats. That makes things a little bit more tricky for us. You wanna kind of be careful with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this. So oh, we're going over a bump or something. I'm getting a little bouncy out there. <laughs> All right, let's say we wanted to go up to one of our buddy airports here. Let's say we want to go up to, uh, what is this, uh, Indian Springs. That's not too, too bad of a choice there. Go a little bit further north. Uh, we've got Desert Rock. You've got all the restricted zones and all those other good things up here. Oh, uh, we'll do Indian Springs. Why not? I'm sorry, Creech Air Force Base. I was going to say, that was not that one. So we'll click on that and we get ourselves some decimal coordinates here. Unfortunately, those coordinates are not in a format that we can use directly. So we're actually going to have to convert these. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these. Two decimal. I don't think it's going to work. Ah, <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to work. Decimal degrees from DMS. Let's go ahead and set this one up. We'll try this one up. Is this one any good? Oh, we, we can work with this. Fine. So let's go ahead and paste those two numbers here so we have them. So we are dealing with latitude that's going to be north. We're going to be 36. Uh, let's see, 36, 35.04. And on this side, we're looking at 115. Remember, that's going to be negative 115. We're going to do 40, and we're going to do 0.454. As a matter of fact, that's not going to work. Oh, fine. Works. I'll take it. So now we're just going to paste in these new values. Come over here. Go ahead and paste these two new values in. I'm just going to rename this. Creech AFB. One thing you do want to do is you want to make sure the altitude is set correctly here. So the altitude for Creech Air Force Base, uh, just taking a look at it real quick. You gonna give us this information or do I have to like extract it from you? 3134. 31 whoop. 3134. Perfect. File. Save. And that's it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna load it into our inertial navigation computer here. So let's go ahead and grab our external tool here. Oh, I told you this is gonna be fun. Let's go ahead and click right here. Defective. Uh select the root. That sounds good to me. We're gonna pick the one that we just created, and that's it. It's now loaded into the computer. So let's go ahead and jump back into the simulator. We'll go ahead and disable some of these things that I've got going all at once here. Nice. So we pop back into the simulator. Now we just have to switch on the inertial mode. First things first, you want to make sure this thing is turned on, which it is. It's on nav mode. We know that the compass is all preset. So what we're going to do is we're going to click, click into IN mode. Uh, normally what we could do is we DR. We're not doing any direction finders, so I'm not going to worry about that too, too much here. So what we need to do is we need to select the waypoint that we want to fly towards. So to do that, we reach back here, and there's this little thing that says active waypoint. So if I snap that to active waypoint one, you'll notice immediately we've got a new needle that tells us what direction we need to go to get to that waypoint, and it also goes ahead and gives us a distance. So I'm going to go kick the burners on again here. Again, this thing is not exactly uh, famous for its turning radius, as I've stated before, and we're simply going to do a big old donut. Oh boy, <laughs> this thing is uh, quite big. Kind of reminds me of a phantom, not gonna lie. All right, and now we know that our waypoint that we're traveling to is gonna be right off of our nose. Bring that nose down just a tiny bit, kind of point in that direction, and we know our destination is right there in that direction. So this is a super cool system because as you probably noticed from that file we were just editing a few moments ago, you can actually change, um, have multiple waypoints. So for example, if you want one waypoint to be here, one waypoint to be there, and you want to kind of do stuff in between, you could. Now there's another method you can navigate with this aircraft too if you're looking for a slightly different technique, and that's using some sort of external navigation tool. Now my choice for this is the GTN 750. Uh, this is a neat free add-on. If I pop over
over to the map real quickly, you can immediately see that there's absolutely no navigational data stored in here in any place at all. But there's nothing in the world stopping me from popping in here, saying direct to, you know, switching this to a uh, different mode or something. If I hit the CDI button, nothing's going to change. Like, don't panic about that. That won't break anything if you do hit CDI. Although, I'm not, not going to lie, I'm kind of tempted. If I press CDI now, is that going to break it? Oh, it's not going to break it. Oh, well, that would have been fun if it did. But now what you can do is you can come in here, you can, you can hit your direct to button and all that stuff and dial it in and file it, basically with the magenta line of safety, as my buddy would always call it. Go ahead and close that sucker out, and you guys can see how that works perfectly fine. Again, use the navigation technique that works fine. The inertial navigation system is definitely traditional, and I'm about to break the speed of sound, and I am way under the break the speed of sound rule here as far as altitude goes. But hey, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> how you doing down there? <laughs> He's looking at me going, um, did he just pass me? Now, I'm curious to see if we can get this thing going fast enough that the warning light will come on. The warning light, my favorite warning light of any airplane. <laughs> I love that as a little slow. And looking right off my nose, I can see that my destination, which was Creech Air Force Base, is just sitting there waiting for me, ready to go. So you can see that the navigation system works well. So that concludes it as far as the navigation tutorial. Again, this is all part two of a three-part series. The next part, we'll take a look at one of the more annoying processes, which is going to be to try to put this thing safely down on the ground. Uh, landing this plane is not bad if you take the time to set it up. It can be little involved if you try to force it. Other than that, enjoy.